Let me do the YouTube intro and then you can say it all again if you want. <laughs> you can, we can always just like, meow. Editing magic. But I'm trying to, but I'm punching the moon, they'll know. Hello everyone and welcome to episode 4 of Shiny Showdown. Unfortunately, we've not had the best of luck the past three weeks, so I'm I'm very, very, very hopeful that we can at least catch two Pokemon tonight. Next week is our all-star break, so we definitely want to have at least six Pokemon going into it. Personally, I would like to have the Cyndaquil at the ready, but you never know what we'll find out, never know what we'll catch, never know if we'll actually hatch anything. So we'll just have to go into this and see what happens. Yes, I'm hoping that you can at least get two tonight so you can round out a whole team. Going into tonight's episode, I do have ten shinies, so I already have four that I cannot use next week. Um, so I'm hoping to just keep building my team this evening to be more consistent to kind of fill out all those typings I don't have covered quite yet. And uh, I think you're adding another sl slice of Hisui to the wheel today, right? So we might have another another good episode of some Hisui hunting as well. Oh, absolutely. Would it be a paradox? To, would we? Would it? Ma you know, it's. We're in the Paradox Pokemon region. We're going back in time, going into the future. We have to go to Hisui at some point, though. Professor Sada would approve. I I do believe that Sada would approve as well. But if there's uh, nothing else to be said or in the way, I think we're ready to go ahead and get our first type for the night. All right. So because I did win last week, um, I do get to pick type number one, which is exciting. Um... I've thought about this very, very hard, and I think a type that I would love to hunt for this evening is dragon type. Dragon type. Lots of strong contenders in that category. So let's go see if we can find anything worth hunting. All right. Can't wait to go to Mezigoza. Our favorite place, going back to school. Even though I'm li I've literally accomplished every single school thing to happen at the school. Sure, I guess I'm still in school. No grad no early graduation for me. I'm scoping out to make sure there's no shiny dragons here for you to snipe. No. No. I can't let you have the I can't let you have the bag on. Quick. Come on, Union Circle. UI is so slow. Get out of here. All right. <laughs> Good luck. Right. See you soon. See you on the other side. So one of the Pokemon I wanted to get was for T-Backs. I know that uh, what Dave has currently for his type in terms of typing is um, ground types. So I wanted to get some ice types without directly going for ice types. The only dragon that I still need is Appalin. However, Afflin is a beast to find. Um, so I don't, I don't know if I really want to go for it. Um, what we might do is we'll see if we can get, we'll see if we can get the Frigibax first, and if we have enough time, we may go look. Oh, there he is! <gasps> so cute! Look at him, he's like, ah! <laughs> he ready to attack. Freaky backs attack, but most importantly, he eat a snack. <laughs> I'm not losing this Frigibax. I'm not, no. There we go. Frigibax was caught, so we are we have two now for tonight's episode. We have our trusty starter Pokemon, and we are going to have Bax Caliber by the end of the evening. Man, Frigid Bax betrays us again. Who'd have thunk? 
All right, we need to go to Dolly Zappa. Hopefully we can find something really quick. There we go. There he is. Hello. It's the dragon sandwich. Oh, thank God. I was about to say dragon sandwich, but I spent 20 minutes on this Gumi. All right. That is going to be our shiny three for this party this evening. I am so excited. The emote did summon the shiny. Yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna go to Medali. And we're just gonna go outside into the forest. And because we are now believing in the power of Applin and its ability to manifest green apples, we will simply find a shiny. All right, we are out of time. Ho, 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 that counts, that counts, that spawned. How do I get it? How do I get it? Be my friend. Let me love you. Let me love you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> This totally counts. <laughs> oh, goodness. Thank you guys so much for the advice. Well, perfect waste of 30 minutes of my life. So, good times. Gotta love it. Hello. Hello, there you are. Sorry about that. Must have been uh, catching a Pokemon, huh? Um, a lot of screaming, crying, throwing up. I just want to be punched in the face. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> no leaks, though. No leaks. Oh man, Farfetch'd would disapprove. I hope that the dragon sandwich uh, ended up being extra tasty. Found a lot of good boys and girls to add to your team. Oh yeah, nothing like some free shavakadu to get us going into this uh, into this episode here. Nice respectable number of uh, of additions to the team, or I guess uh, start to the team. So that being said, it's up to you now to pick sandwich number two. What kind of sandwich will we be making? All right. Well, uh, I believe we'll have some some good old times if everybody is kung fu fighting. So we're gonna go with the fighting type. I believe that ah. is where I want to be. Mesagoza, here we come. Obviously, gotta go to our favorite place. Oh yeah. I believe some would even call it the uh, the center of life as we know it. I think I think that's what I think that's what Mezzik goes to, uh, translates to, if I'm not mistaken. Well, um, hopefully neither of us come away from this battered and bruised and whatever else. Yes, hopefully, um, hopefully you find some powerful ones here. That is that is the plan. Here's what Allie doesn't know. I have participated in a little bit, just just a tiny bit, of legal cheating. It's all all by the book here, folks. We we don't do anything we wouldn't do ourselves, you know. So we're simply just gonna find a green man key in our little outbreak here that we've already gotten to the maximum range of shininess. Just gonna just gonna catch us a nice little man key. A little man monkey, if you will. I would love to see Dave get his Cyndaquil. It's kind of been really sad to see him go without uh, this whole season, without a starter Pokemon. Woo! There it is! Pink! <laughs> pink, pink, pink! Let's go! Yes! First of all! All right, so Heracross, done. Is that it? Please tell me this is it. 
Oh, thank goodness we have something we can use tonight. Holy moly. All right. Good deal, good deal. We are in the running now. This Halucha looks like it was wearing a hat. <gasps> what? Toxicroak? I don't even think this is a fighting Pokemon. What? Um, it is a fighting Pokemon. I did not know that Toxicroak was a fighting Pokemon. But uh, I gotta say, I am certainly not upset one bit by this. Um, I don't know if there's really anything else that I feel like we need to be going for. <gasps> the best possible outcome. Honestly, I'm too worried about rage fisting this thing. <sighs> yes, it's the best outcome possible. Thank goodness. Howdy. Oh, good evening. Hopefully, your fighting type sandwich uh, was fruitful in in nature. Um, I am. Incredibly excited to see what this last uh, sandwich is going to be. So, I know that we are both secretly hoping to go back in time. So, let's just spin the wheel and see if we get what we want. <gasps> oh, so close! We are going for normal types. Okay. <laughs> I think you've basically gotten all of the normal types, right? Uh, there's a there's a few that I still need, but uh, gotten a lot of them. Wow, oh, three for three, not in Mezagoza today. What? What, what a nice twisty turn of events. Well, I wonder if that could mean something bad, since it's different than usual. I don't know. I will say we are technically outside of Mesagosa. We are outside. We are not inside. That is, that is where our problems arise. <laughs> I don't know what you plan on hunting, but uh, whatever it is, good luck in finding it. And good luck to you. There are so many awesome ones on this list, so I'm excited to see what you go for. We're going to do our best. Usually, I would go for trying to get as many Dunsparce as possible, but I do want to diversify what exactly I'm going for here. And because Toxicroak is an option, I do want to be prepared with Psychic. So, um, honestly, this isn't a terrible place to spit us out. Um, I mean, having Starly and Star Raptor would be fantastic. And it is in the daytime, which seems to be, like, more prominently when the Starly likes to show up. Um, so there are definitely some... Oh, sometimes you just get it on the first time. Yes, we finally got Starly. Oh, man, this has been a long time. Like, we have been hunting for Starly for so long at this point. It is kind of ridiculous. Like, oh, brother. Okay, I'm feeling, I'm feeling pretty good about this week now I, th I think we're in a really a really decent spot to um, even out the the record going into all-star now oh oh there you are blue nose I love him God, the Jono region was top tier. I, I must say, top tier region. Aha. 
<laughs> we'll take one! Can we just catch you in a repeat ball? Cool. Thanks! Appreciate it. <gasps> oh, I think we're out of time! I didn't even... Oh, are you serious? I went through this entire sandwich and not one done sparse. At least I did get giraffe rig, so it's not a total loss. But man, not even one done sparse. All right, so we have fortunately come up with an actual team this week instead of only having one Pokemon or two Pokemon to deal with. So it's nice having the numbers to work with. So our first Pokemon here is going to be our leftovers Annihilate. We're going to be using Drain Punch, Bulk Up, Outrage, Rage Fist uh, with the Defiant ability. Uh, Annihilate is probably our strongest Pokemon on the team, I would I would think. It seems like it's going to be pretty pretty decent. Uh, we can definitely stick around for a little bit. And plus, we have Dragon coverage in case Allie did get a Dragon um, at the beginning of the episode. So I think this will be really good. Uh, we also got our Halucha. You, you may wonder why we have Power Herb. Okay, and I can explain. Okay, we have Sky Attack. So the Power Herb is going to let us uh, use a use a move that usually takes two turns to charge, um, or two turns to use whatever the however you want to say that. So if we just get a Sky Attack right out the gate, right, Power Herb procs, then we have no more item. So Unburden becomes active, and plus we're gonna get some nice extra damage from acrobatics so it it all plays together well will it be fine i don't know we'll have to find out um then we have our life orb star raptor and i know this is it's gonna be weird okay just it's funny and that's why we're doing it okay so <laughs> we got substitute rest sleep talk and brave bird we're gonna keep with the intimidate uh, Reckless would be probably pretty good, but um, I don't know if we'll necessarily need it. Uh, so we're just gonna we're gonna sub up, rest up, and sleep talk, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. <laughs> that's our game plan with Star After. I I think it'll be funny. Um, and then last but not least, uh, we got the Dedun Sparse uh, with the Mirror Herb. I have no idea what really to do with this thing. Um, it's got Serene Grace, so um, we're hoping we can get like some extra Poison Tail stuff or something going on. I don't know. We'll see what happens. It's the best we got, but hopefully this will be enough to get us back into the winner's circle this week. And we can even out the record before the All-Star break. Friends, I have literally never been so panicked trying to put a party together before. So Samurott, we are keeping Samurott the same with its same moveset. Um, I think why fix something that isn't broke? I mean, Samurott is killing it and crushing it. Next, we have Barbie. And uh, because, of course, hot pink like the Barbie movie. Um, I've attached a flame orb here, which is a little bit crazy um, because it is going to burn my hair across. But I have this interesting move, Facade, and basically the move's power is going to be doubled if uh, I'm poisoned, burned, or paralyzed. So I'm going to use that as my advantage to get some larger hits. We also have Throat Chop, um, Brick Break, and Mega Horn for um, other type coverage. Next, unfortunately, one of the reasons it's taken me so long to do this tonight is because I've been trying to evolve the Sligu into a Gudra because I thought it'd be so funny to play against Gudra for the win with a Gudra. Unfortunately, we're just going to have to Evio Light, and I'm going with a Rest Sleep Talk build um, just to let it let it sleep and do its thing. Uh, I've got a Dragon-type move on it as well. I have Baxcalibur, who I've lovingly named Ken. Um, we've got Glaive Rush, Dragon Dance, Ice Beam, and Bulldoze, just Dragon Dance to boost up some of our attacks. Um, if for some reason we do see a Fire Pokemon here, a Fire Pokemon is not going to be, uh, effective against this because it's going to boost my attack stat instead. We have good old Farigarath, I've named Midge, we've given Farigarath a Citrus Berry, and, um, Unfortunately, 
he's not going to be able to use priority moves like a sucker punch against Farigarath because of its armor tail. But we do have Thunderbolt because I do think he might have went for a flying type to defend um, against the fighting type Pokemon I might have caught. I have Psyshock for those uh, fighting types and then we have Hyper Beam, just another tanky move. And then last but not least, we have Alan Toxicroak. We gave Alan the leftovers and then we have Sucker Punch, Brick Break, and Gunk Shot to maybe hopefully get a poison. Now, this was overwhelming, so hopefully I just do all right with this. We'll see how it goes. All right, let's see what Allie has brought today. She's got another full team, um, but I think, we, I think we lead with Halucha. Um, and just sky attack the first thing we see because I I don't think there's much here that's outspeeding Halucha you know so I think if we can just get a nice uh, if we can just get to unburden and extra damage um, acrobatics as quickly as possible I think we're in a really good spot she'll probably lead with a samurai um, that tends to be her lead. Typically. Uh, she might also go with the Farigarath. Uh, since we have quite a bit. Oh, she's got Alan. <laughs> Alright. So, we got Alan versus Halucha. See the anticipation. Um, I'm just going to Sky Attack. That's all I really need to do. Um... We're just going to get off one nice little sky attack, and then we are big chilling. This will be a cool animation. I don't think I've ever seen the animation for sky attack. So, really cool there. Nice little wings. A, a good one shot. Uh, probably won't be using sky attack anymore <laughs> in this game, more than likely. Um... So we got Midge. All right, Midge is the Farigarath. Um, I would be a little worried about a Trick Room, um, but not enough. So we're gonna Acrobatics here. Uh, does not do a lot of damage. We're gonna see the Thunderbolts. Okay. The only thing I'm really okay with bringing in on a Thunderbolt is the Annihilate here, which I think we'll do. Um, we'll have the Unburden for later. Um, so that'll be nice. Very well could still see a Psychic move here. Um, no, we are going to see the Thunderbolt. Okay, no, that's good. That's fine. All right. Um... I think we might be able to do one bulk up. One singular bulk up. I don't I don't know how well I, I imagine Annihilate can eat can eat a psychic move pretty well. Um if she if she's scared here and switches out, that's the best case scenario, but it doesn't look like She's all too afraid. Uh, so we're going to see Psy Shock, which is actually pretty good because we just boosted our defense, which is really nice. Uh, so we're going to go with a nice plus one neutral drain punch here um, because nothing else really wants to see it. Um, Terrastalizing would probably be okay, but I'm okay with just drain punching here. Wait a minute! We each caught... Oh, wait! We each caught each other's mascots! That's hilarious. That is hilarious. <laughs> she caught the Gumi, and I caught the Dunsparce. Oh, that's that's hilarious. I love that. <laughs> the true mascot battle. Hilarious. All right. Well, fortunately, we got some nice free HP from ourselves, which is which is fantastic. You love to see it. Uh, we're gonna see the Samurott here. What does Samurott do to us that 
makes me a. F I don't think there's really anything. So I'm gonna get another bulk up in. Um. Because, like, Samurai doesn't have good special attack, I don't think. So, like. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not entirely worried about whatever Samurai's doing on the special side. So we're at plus two, plus two, which is really good. Um, I'll just go ahead and drain punch again and get some nice, nice HP recovery. Didn't take it out, which is unfortunate, but um, yeah, we're definitely, we're definitely in a good spot. Um, Like, I'd almost be tempted to get greedy. Nah, Drain Punch is just the safe move. She's gonna withdraw the Samurott. Um, Ken's probably the Heracross to resist. No, the Baxcalibur. Just gonna eat a nice plus two Drain Punch. Slurp it up. <laughs> I guess she thought I was gonna get greedy. <laughs> Good thing we didn't. Um, yeah, I think Annihilate just sweeps from here, honestly. Um, Midge comes back out, but we're at plus two, plus two. Uh, she's going to Terrastalize. Is this going to be Terra Normal? It's going to be Terra Psychic. So, like, that just turns our Rage Fist online. Uh, we're going to get a nice plus two outrage here, which is going to take Midge out. Um, so, that leaves her with Heracross and um, Samurott, I believe, are the only two Pokemon she has left. So, here's Barbie. So, that's probably Heracross, yeah. Yeah, so uh, we're locked into Outrage. Um, she's got Protect. She's got Protect. It's whatever. Ooh, do we have Focus Sash on Barbie here? Throat Chop. Interesting. Um, for this, for the sake, for the sake of the content. It's, it's guts. <laughs> For the sake of content, we're gonna go out into uh, our good our good friend, our good friend to Dunsparce here. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> All right. Does Allie have what it takes? to take herself out. That's the question. Um, let's use Hyper Drill. You have got to be joking. Are you kidding me? Oh, she, she ties to Life Orb damage. Oh no. <laughs> Oh no, what a, gosh, <laughs> what a way to go, I mean, I don't know, but uh, hey, we won, we're back in the winner's seat, you love to see it. I was justifiably stressed, but the lesson we learned from this is that I should have put in the Swablu I caught. You caught a Swablu, huh? I caught so many Pokemon, I had to leave one behind. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, we learned a lot from that. By the way, let's just... Good game. Yeah, good game. Good game. The lesson that I learned from that is that Annihilate is a tank, and I should have just brought it in the Swell Blue. When I couldn't make it rain, um... I should have definitely left the Slagoo in my PC, but you know, it 
Sometimes there are weeks like this and your build was just phenomenal. So you could be super excited that you are taking back the winner's chair this week. I, I'm I'm pretty pleased about it. Uh, it does even us out going into the all-star break. So that is really, really good. I think we've had a nice balanced couple of episodes um, or a few episodes leading up to this moment in time but you have such a fun assortment going into all stars next week i think you have eight pokemon so i'm excited to see which ones are you're going to use to create your cohesive team um i'm actually going in with 15 options so i'm going to be leaving behind nine Man. pokemon it's a it's a little a little scary uh knowing that you have so many options to go for but uh i'm i'm pleased with the fact that we we have enough tools in in the shed here to to make something happen and uh should be should be a good best of three that we do next week thank you guys so much for tuning in for episode four make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the all-star battle next week we've got as ali said we have a lot of shiny pokemon that we haven't actually gotten to use in a battle yet so you definitely want to see what we can kind of cook up and uh, what kind of strategies we'll be able to deploy next week. So make sure you subscribe and hopefully we'll see you in the all-star battle. Stay winning friends. Mm -hmm.